Well, hello world. Welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs, and we're going to try something different here on this channel. A uh, new series where I record using a four-track cassette recorder. The reason for it is I just kind of want to give insight to people of a younger generation of what it was like <laughs> for us that grew up in the 80s and the 90s or whatnot. Bedroom producing back then. <laughs> um... So, you know, just to give insights to the workflow, sound quality, stuff like that. So I recorded a long time like that, and um, I never, I didn't have reference speakers. I had like some kind of Bose. Nothing I ever mixed sounded exactly how I uh, heard it in my room, all that kind of fun stuff. But um, I have on the screen something. It looks kind of like this. I don't remember anything with this little shape thing here, this little kind of cutaway here but it kind of it resembles it i remember these kind of weird knobs on the top the faders are you know short throw and all that stuff but i remember it was similar to this i just know it wasn't with this cutaway thing and i feel like the tape portion was up top somewhere but i could be wrong i mean it was the 90s and i was having a lot of fun back then as a teenager so the point of it is i want to do a few different things um, I'm going to do one where I track drums. It's still using the console, but the line out's going into the line in so it can capture kind of the same thing. So we can compare like going into a doll, compare it, you know, the same exact take uh, and what it sounds like going to tape cassette tape i know it's not a real to real you know something like that and then you know stuff like how would you track a full on thing if you you know wanted to back in the day you know you would have to have a, an external mixer most of the time especially for the for the yamaha that i had this i got on reverb a few years back because i just wanted the old four track tape cassette thing back in my life so anyway, I, ha I have this song that I created in Machina. I've been really into sampling my own guitar lately, just playing into it and then messing around with it or just leaving it and whatever. So I made this song. It's like a black metal style riff. And um, I used Death by Audio, Apocalypse, Fuzz for it. I just wanted like a crappy kind of early 90s black metal guitar sound but i wanted to put it over more of like a hip-hop-ish kind of beat i figured i will just record the two track into here and then i'm gonna cut some vocals over it using these pedals here i have um machine coming out of my apollo into channel five and six because five and six are geared towards line inputs and they are getting bust to channel one and two and that'll be the playback later when i'm done this part then i'm going to record vocals on channel three and four and then we'll see what happens i mean i don't know if i'll add to it or not so let's start that and for here you just hit record and play at the same time and there you go There's a monitor out for this, and then there's a, a line out for this. So the line out would be how, you, you know, if you were capturing it onto whatever your final destination is, whether it was a DAT, tape, whatever. And then the monitor out would be for your speakers. Okay. 
All right, so the playback is fine. All right, um, it actually sounds really nice. Alright, so now we are going to do the vocal. I have everything set up and I'm going to show you what's going on. The DL4 for the microphone input plus I'm going to use its delay. I'm just using the digital delay. Um, and then I am going to use the Apocalypse for some distortion. And then I'm going to use the dark light as a pad because it has a freeze function. So I'm going to sing some kind of note into it and then hit the pad and then I'll have that ambient background thing. You noticed that the delay was off time on that one part and in a DAW you would just recalculate your delay for that part or whatnot but we printed it that way and honestly I don't mind it you know why cuz I'm kind of sick of perfection you know everybody's making everything so perfect and uh, to me, that's not fun, and that you know, it's a the perfection has its place. Don't get me wrong, but I just like when things are a little bit messed up, and um, so that therefore the delay was off, and that's why I started messing around with the delay time with the knob and getting all that little weird, uh, glitchy, pitchy thing going on in that part. So it kind of worked. So anyway, I am going to print this. And this will be the mix, but, you know, maybe I'll do a master of it, too, at some point, so we can kind of compare. But this is what we're going to do. So if you found this video entertaining, to say the least, um, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to stay notified. I'm going to do other things with this, because um, I'm diving back into it myself, and I'm able to remember stuff from back in the day. And, yeah. And we're going to go through it. And if you're interested in learning about these machines or anything, or if you just want to hang out and watch, 
watch me uh, do some fun stuff here, what I think is fun, um, then uh, come back, you know? All right, so I'm going to print this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.